Congratulations on starting your UNSW online study journey. Studying online is convenient, flexible, and allows you to balance work, family, and everything else with your study, no matter where in the world you are. The great benefit of online learning is that it gives you that flexibility. So most of our students are juggling more than one thing. Their work, they might have young children, they may have community activities, they may have travel. And online learning allows you to actually be flexible around that. If you want to go online at 10.30 at night in your pyjamas with a cup of tea, that's fine. And that's the beauty of online learning. We've put together a few tips and tricks to help you get started manage your time and keep you motivated and disciplined to get the most out of your study. So why did you start studying in the first place? Was it to change or progress your career or was it to start your own business? So remembering why you started in the first place will help you get through those study sessions when the couch is calling. I think the first and most important thing is to get the mindset right. Why you've decided to do an online course, write it down. Then share it with immediate family members and loved ones. You'll need a lot of support from those immediately around you. While studying online is different from being in a classroom, there are still a lot of things that remain the same, like planning, organizing, scheduling, and self-commitment. But you can tailor a study plan that suits you and your lifestyle. One of the things that you want to look at is the study environment. So do you have a place where you can study, where you can do work that actually meets all of your needs? I think one of the most important things in organizing yourself for online study is to develop an understanding of the rhythm of the online course. I really recommend understanding the structure of the course and understanding where different parts of information are delivered, where the lecturer or other students are communicating in that course, and where you're supposed to submit your assignments. Being organised isn't just about having a neat and tidy desk, although that does help. The following tips will help you plan and organise what you need to start your study journey. To make your plan, the first step is to understand your course outline and requirements. What is the recommended study time for each course? When are my assessments due? Do I have scheduled exams? Are there webinars and discussion groups I need to participate in? Mark down these key dates and expectations. Already you have the beginnings of a study plan. Read the course outline as it provides an overview of the subject, the schedule and the assessment dates. Assessment overviews have a quick look at the brief and diarise the due dates. Announcements? Keep a lookout for these as they provide useful information and reminders. I think when you start off uh, enrolled in an online course, the most important thing is to go to the course outline because that's where you can start to get a sense of how to manage your work-life balance and plan the weeks ahead. To start building your study plan, mark out your concrete commitments such as work. Block these times in your calendar and see what is left. What days and times will you be able to set aside for study? Now be realistic. If you're a morning person, put your study in the morning or alternatively the evening for those night hours who have to wait for the kids to get to sleep. Don't forget to put aside time for you to relax and see friends. A good study plan is all about balance. The most important tool in helping you to stay on top of your learning is your diary. Using your diary in a really effective and proactive way so that you know in advance for the next 10 weeks or six weeks or however many weeks that this is the time that you're going to have to put aside to your learning. You really can't leave it all to the last minute. Time management is all about knowing exactly what you will be spending each of your study blocks focusing on. To do this, look at dates and timelines from your course outline and then allocate each of your weekly study blocks to certain tasks. Studying at home can be full of distractions, so creating a study zone is important. 
So if you look at the types of activities that you have in a course, say there's a lot of readings, you might actually need a really quiet space with not a lot of distractions. If you have the space for a dedicated office or desk, then we recommend it. But if it's just an area on your dining table, then make sure you clear away all distractions before you sit down to study. If you live with friends or family, make sure they know when you are studying and to not disturb you. You are now entering your study zone. That means no distractions. Put your phone on silent and turn off notifications. Okay, so maybe just put it out of sight. Also find a quiet spot where you're not likely to be distracted. So you don't want to go somewhere where you know you're going to run into a lot of your friends, for example. Having that quiet study space is really important as well so you're not distracted. And when you open your laptop, make sure you sign off of your social media accounts and minimize notifications. Now you're ready to study. An online student's best friend is their computer. So make sure you find one that is reliable and best suits your needs. Do you have to study on the go? Best to find a laptop that is light and easy to carry and has reliable internet speed. UNSW has a series of online tools that will help you get the most out of your study. The Moodle site is where you will usually find all your course information. There are also extensive online research and library tools at your fingertips. In terms of your assessments, it really pays to understand what resources are available to you online. For example, I recommend you check out the UNSW library in terms of all of the different databases and other information sources available. But also don't forget, you can organise delivery of books and other resources in certain circumstances as well. Even though you're online, you can also connect with your peers and discuss ideas. This will enhance your learning experience and grow your professional networks as well. One piece of advice that I give to all online students is to reach out to your fellow students. Build that learning community and let them know a little bit about yourself too. It's amazing how much more you can learn and how much more you can get from your materials if you actually take the steps to be part of that learning community. The key as an online learner is you've got to be proactive, actively engaged throughout the course, but particularly when you're actually focusing online. If you have questions about your course content, especially about assessments, ask your lecturers as soon as they arise. If you wait too long, then you might quickly fall behind. So even if you've got a problem, discuss it with your teacher and with your peers so that everyone's aware where everyone's at and you'll have a much better time. Teaching staff are here to help, so you reach out to them, there's a very good chance they'll be able to help you, whether it's something big or something small. And quite often the things that are slowing you down are just very small blocking issues that you need to get past and that's why, that's why they're there. You'll study more effectively if you keep yourself healthy both physically and mentally. So get plenty of social time, exercise and sleep. Oh, and nature, if you can. It will all help. Sometimes you'll feel overwhelmed and may want to give up. That's normal, but you can work through that. Take a break, stay connected and remember your end goal. Break things down into smaller goals and to-do lists. It's really motivating to be able to tick things off once you complete them. And don't forget, when you reach a goal, be sure to reward yourself.